<laughs> I just felt like a complete cough attack. Thanks for turning on the camera. Right now, we're about to get your saya. And Lily's in the kitchen eating some snacks while watching on TV because she has her three hour gymnastics practice today. Mm hmm. What's up, you didn't ever film like, going through the process of eating? We filmed going to the doctor and you kind of told about your symptoms and stuff. Nice yawn. Oh my gosh, who else? Comment below if you're like you an yawned. ugly yawn, eh? Uh, I was gonna say comment below if you yawned after that yawn, if you caught that yawn. <laughs> oh my gosh, yesterday. I don't know why we're messing with Lillian. So Lillian's about to go to bed. And me and Lucas decided like best with her. I don't know. I didn't think oh, she was gonna cry. We're, we're like, making funny things. We're like, <laughs> and Lillian's like, like <laughs> petrified. She started crying so hard. We're like, <laughs> <laughs> she's just screaming. And here's your ADHD because we were like, we started on one thing, we went to the second thing, with the third thing. Let's go back to the first thing. Right? What's the first thing? <laughs> so yeah, Lucas, better go get Josiah. So let's <clears> see <throat> if uh, he gives you some some goodies in that in the car. But guys, listen, the kids <clears throat> have been sleeping so well at night that we're probably gonna be able to come back to. You know, doing things like the podcast and like talk about random topics and stuff like that. Yeah, the sit downs are fun. Yeah, the sit downs are fun. And doing more like night videos because yeah. before, man, these kids were going to bed late or waking up. Multiple like, times. Like multiple times at night. Mm. These kids. I mean, oh, Lily going to bed late, just like waking up multiple times. Right. So our sleep schedule, their, their sleep schedule has been like so bad. Mm -hmm. So it was really hard for us to like find fading our, our foot when it comes to like filming and stuff. And then also Lily and being home. Kind of like throw some throw some more things in there, and Lucas's wife wanting to like make sure she's completely entertained all day every day. Yeah, so we're gonna try to find our feeding now and be able to entertain you guys. <laughs> but yeah, and I want to do more like our natural lives videos. You know, like just pick up the camera because I feel like I have a hard time picking up the camera. What are we doing? <laughs> are you alive? Wow. Are you alive? Oh, I promise I'm done with COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you did have COVID. <laughs> anyway, so you wanna go get Josiah, baby? Yes, let's go get Josiah. Hi. Oh. Can you say hi? Let me open your goldfish. Yeah. Did you have a good day at school? Oh, you got gummy bears in there and can I have some? No. <laughs> you want some? You can have some, they're yours. Can I have some? No. You wanna share? Yes. You wanna share? <laughs> yes and no. And one bite. Yeah, one bite. Ah. Uh, that. Well, that's a gummy bear. Can I have a bite? No, bite the gummy bear. Don't bite the gummy bear. Okay, fine. You can have it. How was school, Josiah? Did you have a good day? Lava at school. You had fun at school. Lava at school. Lava at school. Did you play floor is lava? What? That's so fun. All right, y'all, so Josiah's gonna finish up his snack. Um, I'm gonna throw him in his car seat and then we'll see you guys back at home. Say bye-bye, RNL fam. Bye-bye, RNL fam. Yay! <laughs> he finally talked to you guys. <laughs> All right, we'll see. Whoa, whoa. Uh, we'll see you guys at home. some music by Tupac on Amazon Music. Alexa, play Toolbox song. So Josiah, it's a Toolbox. In my hand. You got a hammer in your hand? Just say, let me see your goggles. Do you want to see? No. Whoa. You get so shy. Oh, oh. Fix the camera. Are you fixing the camera? Oh, oh, oh. Good job. Where's your wrench? Tiny skirts. <laughs> oh my goodness, look Arno fam. <gasps> Just so you had something scary. Ah, it's a snake. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's running from his own snake. Snake break too. I didn't mean the snake. <laughs> Three hours later. Hi, no fam. Welcome back. Um, okay, so we're gonna start doing this daily nighttime recap. Let us know what you think about these nighttime recaps. So yeah, so we have really big news. Well, for me. I know we keep, like Rachel, there's always something going on. Yeah, there's always something going on. True. And I feel like it's how I like this. But I figured out more about myself and who I am. I don't know if I told you guys this, 
because I probably have, but all my life I suspected I had ADHD. You guys probably seen some of the traits. I know some of you guys are like, Rachel, you talk so much. You are so crazy. You blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know we do social media and everything. And let me know in the comments below. You know, it's a huge decrease in the amount of videos we'll be posting, right? The problem is doing videos like this takes a lot of self-discipline, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. And I've started noticing, like, especially when I add a lot of exterior factors to it, Lillian's doing a lot of stuff. Stuff with Josiah, stuff with this and that. My focus on social media has been very, very work. And I notice I'm the kind of person, and let me know in the comments if you're the same. Whenever I like something, and whenever I become obsessed with something, I like become obsessed with it. Like, I do a lot of research on it. I like make my whole life about it. Like, everything about the something I'm obsessed with, like, my whole life is just a ton of vision on his obsession, right? That's kind of in a way, like how we started social media because it was more like, okay, I made a video with Lillian. I'm like, oh, this is like really fun. And so we started researching about how to make it, da, 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 and it just came really, really, I was like, this is like something I really enjoy. But then like my focus like diverted to like other things. Lillian's gymnastics, right? I became like really obsessed with it. Like, oh my gosh, gymnastics is awesome. She got put on to the pre team, you know, on for team. And I was like, wait, 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 I can't have her do something and not understand it. So I became mm -hmm. really obsessed with it. Did a lot of research about it and like, kind of like dumped my other obsession, AKA social media. And then, um, you know, I feel like that's what's always happening. And I feel like now I'm having a hard time mm -hmm. getting work done because like my mind is on like 50 other things than this. Right. And Lucas here, because I noticed it in college and I did a lot of research about it, um, ADHD, and I was like, I think I have it. And then I use Lucas as my walk accommodation. I pretty much like got all A's and like made to masters and did really, really well. Mm -hmm. I figured out different methods and how to help my aunt. And I feel like right now, since everything's more like on me versus school, telling me what to do, yeah. Lucas helped me on track. I feel like now I'm having a really hard time with me, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I ended up going to my doctor and I was like, hey, I'm listening to this about myself. Can I get tested? And he's like, okay, sure, 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 sure. And so the results, guys. So my doctor came back. He's like, you were actually diagnosed with severe ADHD. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wow. And it's funny because the stuff that I extremely struggle with is when I have more than one thing on my plate. Right. So he said on things where you just had to focus on one thing, you did exceptionally well, like really, really well. But when you added more than one task on my plate, that's extremely low. Right. That's like scarily low. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my, yeah. Like I really, really, really struggle. Which you guys know, because we don't post anything, you know? And I tried to, and Lucas has been very grateful with like, literally like, you are my life. Like right. he literally keeps me in line in yeah. life. <laughs> And like obviously I like have an alarm and stuff and I'm like like literally I'll, I'll say like eight o'clock this, nine o'clock I need to do this, ten o'clock I need to, like I have to like set alarms if I need right. to do something or it never gets done. The biggest problem I have, complex attention, cognitive flexibility, and executive functioning. Guys, look like, legit. Let me tell you, let me tell you how bad I am right now. Me and Lucas were working. I think we were trying to make a video or something, I forgot. I was like, I really want tomato soup. <laughs> I said what I was doing guys, went to Walmart, bought mm. all the ingredients for tomato soup, <laughs> researched how to make tomato soup. Yep. And I, I spent the whole entire day right. making tomato soup when I was supposed to work. Like that's that's your that's your that's your friend. <laughs> Rachel. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. And that's Lillian's home and she's been flipping around. Guess what Rachel's been doing? Yeah. Mm, yeah, you guessed it. Flipping around. Yeah. That's the really hard part is that when there's more like when whenever the kids are at school and we can just like get up in the morning get ready and film mm -hmm. that's when like we do well mm -hmm. but if there's anything else like a kid a kid is home like someone's sick like Friends, we, we have a doctor's appointment or any appointment. anything besides like if we don't stay on this track like on it like nothing else is gonna get done nothing. like or very minimal maybe like one video or like a little you know like we if might we get, get something done but like it's really difficult because like once you're off task, it's it's really hard to kind of correct it and get it back. Right. Or like, in, in, you know, does that make sense? Like, yeah, like off my routine, like yeah. I have to be routine oriented because right. if I'm not on my routine, it's bad. Right. Like I don't get anything done. Yeah. And that's where like, it's funny because the test literally like mirrored what we see in real life. So mm -hmm. it's funny like we knew it, but then it's like you get like a proof positive. You're like, oh, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, it's like literally validation mm -hmm. from all my struggles. Like guys, 
I struggled growing up. And the problem is that I'm considered a 2E. So I was identified <laughs> as gifted, but I think the problem was it overseeded yeah. my you hit, ADHD. You, you hit it. Until like a certain point. And I remember like, I remember in school and I was like, eh, the problem with that is I feel like once I got bored, I just didn't care anymore. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? And I'm not a bad kid, but like I would like skip classes and hang out with like friends, but I'm not bad. I was just like, I don't know what I was doing. It just, you know, come for the test, ace the test. And the teacher's like, you can't do that. So it failed me. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in high school, like I failed a lot of classes mm -hmm. because of it. And then I remember, I'm like, okay, I need to like buck it up, you know? So I started bucking up and I think it's probably the extra summer classes, um, extra classes during the year on top of mine, which probably gave me a little bit, probably more of that mental like, right. Fo like focus something. Or... I don't know yeah. what happened. I ended up like bucking it up in high school mm -hmm. and in college where I really was like, I need to figure out because once college hits, you no one's telling you what to do. Mm -mm. No one's telling you right. to go to class. No one's telling you anything. You gotta figure it yourself. So I'm right. like, I gotta figure it out. So I did that and I ended up doing really, really, really well. But right. some of you probably asking, do you expect your kids? Josiah, very, very, very ADD. He's pretty crazy. I know this boy crazy, but like, I feel like both of them have it, but I feel like he's, he's interesting. Like he's, he's more of like that. If you're, if he has your undivided attention, he's great. But when you add more to his play, he gets kind of like, you know mm -hmm. you agree yeah his object permanence thing too yeah i noticed like when somebody's in front of him he loved when death once they're gone which is funny i have that mm -hmm. once they're gone they're gone right unless you're like in your attention like, unless direct, you're attention. direct like attention yeah. yeah and he's wild and then lillian is interesting and i know everyone's like i don't see it in lillian it's like yeah. becca said that um melissa said that Everyone says, I don't see it, but I'm like, if you're there with her every day, right. you will see it. In gymnastics, right? If she's not focusing on, and me and her talk a lot about it, like, right. babe, this is what happens. Like, let's come up with strategies on how to fix, like how to accommodate yourself, right? Mm -hmm. I wish I could show you the video, guys. So everybody's facing this way and Lillian's. <laughs> like, turn around, facing look, this way. look in the opposite direction of where the coach is. And the coach like comes to her and just like, turns her around. Turns her. <laughs> she didn't grab her face. <laughs> she didn't grab her face, but she's just like, turned her body, like, turn around. around. Like, it's like, <laughs> yeah, and like, if she's not focusing on what she's doing, she will completely bomb it. Yeah. It's now more regulated because we talk about all the time and she's like really focused on it. Josiah is definitely more hyperactive. Mm -hmm. And attention, like just say, well, like he he be walking sometimes. You boom, <laughs> <laughs> he will just boom right through you. <laughs> it's a pole. He will boom right through that pole. <laughs> that boy just boom. Mm. Sorry, baby, that's my pole. <laughs> they got it from you. <laughs> if you guys know, I've been doing like a non medical med non medicine one first. Like over the counter. Over the thing. counter, and it's um, and it's herbs, herbs. What's it it's called? a herbal, um, like magnesium and, and something else in the herb. Right. And I feel like I did notice a difference. I'm definitely more on it. Right. With it, not a hundred percent, but right. definitely more on it. And then the kids, I've been having them take these herbs as well. Right. I feel like I noticed a difference. His teachers notice a difference. Yeah. I didn't tell his teachers that we just like giving him natural herbs. And they're like, oh my gosh, he's like talking in class now. He's mm -hmm. being calm. He's like listening. Yeah. But anyways, if you want to know the calming herbs that helped, DM me on Instagram. But yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you already noticed it in me. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm well, sure. Like, they probably, I'm, I'm sure they noticed like the energy in you, but it's hard. Like, like same thing with Lillian, because and, and, like, you're only seeing like snippets. Yeah. Unless you're like there all day, every day, you don't see like the derailings and like the, you know what I'm saying? Like the little tasks that mm -hmm. are like difficult because you can't like multitask and things like that. Like the attention. That's but, yeah. true. And we do edit out a lot of the derails. Right. But yeah. even like, you, I'm sure they've noticed in like our conversations or like if they've watched like a sit down where like the topics will just like oh. go like this, <laughs> you know? So they probably noticed that. Um, I don't know a lot of people get pissed off when I interrupt you. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't think you understood or understand. In college, it was really, really yeah. bad. And I, when I tell you, during my research, I was like, oh my goodness, I do so much. And I'm like, do I look at this? He's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> 
And so I'm very intentional with not interrupting and it's it's like 99 percent. no you do, you do great i don't notice it it's funny because that is an adhd or add tree or adhd mm, trait where like where they were because you you basically finish my sentence before i do it because you're like i already know where the sentence is going let's let's like move Let on me move on yeah talk like, over yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah it's, but anyway but every time you talk i do tell myself wait 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 like every time i hope you know that years <laughs> years it's years every conversation we have i tell myself wait it never wait became for second it, nature <laughs> wait for it's still second nature but in my head it's still wait 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 right i know it's funny <laughs> <laughs> uh, not funny i just wait for the last word to come out of your mouth and i'm like Poop. so yeah there's that comment below if you were a part of my crew right <laughs> <laughs> anyways so i just love giving you guys more i know it's like personal but it's like i don't know i feel like you guys are family and that's a big part of me and it's funny it's like who i am which is mm -hmm. weird to say like i'm it's funny i can finally embrace that side of me mm -hmm. even i've been embracing it all these years mm -hmm. it's like a com like it's like validation of my embracing of who i am i'm neurodivergent right. and i love that i finally explain 99 percent of myself like i literally like i don't think you understand like i feel like mm -hmm. ah, it's freeing it's so freeing right. to know who i am right look you know love you guys see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>